everyone, today I am sharing a DIY video with you. I am going to be doing two projects. They are pretty different projects, but they are both made with the same materials and in a very similar way. So I wanted to share them in a video together for you. One of them will be a table runner for my dining room table, and the other will be pillows for my living room. They're both made with drop cloth canvas and paint. And so I'm excited for this DIY and, and I'm very excited to get started on it. If you enjoy this video today, please hit that like button. Please leave your thoughts in the comments. And if you want to see more videos like this one, please hit that subscribe button so that you can stay up to date on all of my latest content. Thank you for watching today and let's go ahead and get started. I'll start off by quickly showing you everything that I am going to be using for these projects. I will be using this drop cloth canvas. This I got at Menards. You can find it at hardware stores, also at Walmart. I do not need the entire canvas. I'll just be using a piece of it, so if you find one that's smaller, that's probably better. I will also be using this gray paint. I got this from Ace. It is in the color Smooth Slate. Use whatever paint fits with your decor. I'll be using painter's tape. I'll also be using scissors, a paintbrush, and my sewing machine. If you do not have a sewing machine or do not want to sew with this project, you can use something called Stitch Witchery. It is a iron adhesive that can be washed and everything just like if you sewed your project. So I will link that below in the description so you can see what it is. And then if you'd like to use that, it's super easy to use. You just need an iron for it. So let's go ahead and start on the project. I am just going to be doing a table runner for the center of my table. So my finished length is going to be 12 inches by 24 inches. So the piece of fabric that I cut from the canvas is 13 inches by 25 inches. These two edges are already finished. I cut them along the edge of the canvas so that they would already be finished. So I only have to finish these two edges. So whatever size that you make your table runner, you just need to add an inch of fabric on each side that you need to finish. So if yours isn't finished on any sides and you want to do a 12 by 24, you actually want to cut it 14 by 26 instead. To start the table runner, I folded over the edge twice and then did a straight stitch on both of the unfinished edges. I started about a half inch over with my painter's tape and then just press down the painter's tape well. The stripes that I did were one, two, and three inches wide. Painted over and then peeled off the painter's tape while the paint was still wet. Here you can see the finished product on my table. I added some decorations on the unpainted side, and I really love the way that it turned out. For each pillow, these are the pieces that you will need. My finished pillow size is going to be 16 by 16 inches, so I cut one large piece that is 17 by 17 inches. You do not need any finished edges on this large piece. Then after that, I have one piece that is 17 by 12 and a half inches. And my last piece is 17 by eight and a half inches. So as you can see, when it's finished, these will overlap in the back. You'll be able to interchange the inside of your pillow. I'm going to be using some regular bed pillows inside of this. So you can use couch pillows and recover them or whatever you might want to do. That way you can just pull this cover off and wash it whenever you need to. 
For my first pillow, I did one inch stripes. And then I connected them in the corner by adding tape again over top of the stripes that I already did. Two inch stripes on my second pillow. To start putting the pillow together, you want to put finished sides facing each other. Put down your eight and a half inch piece first and then your 12 and a half inch piece. Pin the edges together so that it won't move while you are sewing it. If you are using stitch witchery, you'll just want to go one side at a time and iron your pillow together. Inside out your pillow, you can use something pointy in the corner to make sure that they're poked out all the way. And there your cover is done. I hope you have enjoyed these projects. Thank you so much for joining me today. And don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button. I will see you next time.